you how to create your own digital planner in 2023. So the first thing we need is a cover image. So for that, you can go here and type in either digital planner and choose this one, or you can type in cover or a magazine cover, book cover, workbook cover, whichever it is, and then just choose the one you like. Let's say you like this one, and then you can customize it. You can copy the elements from here and add it to your planner like this. So I copy and then I'm going to have a new page and then I can paste it over here. So like that. So I have it over here. Now, of course, I will need to change the fonts or the text and things like that, or the colors, for example. And we can just click on the image over here, apply colors to page. And now it automatically applies the colors from the page and it actually changes the font color as well as the, um, the, 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 the background. So this we can change to a different image. So let's say I'm going to type in flower. I'm going to go to photos and then, then can choose the one I like. So let's say I like this one, I can add it over here and then I can just make it this color. So very easy and simple to do. Now for this kind of planner, if you want this specific image, I do have a video specifically for that, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. So you can find it in the link in the description. Next up, we have the index page to create an index page. It's one of the most important pages you will create. And there's multiple things you can do. One of the things is that you add the hyperlinks that you will probably ask. So you have the hyperlinks for the different months. You also have the hyperlinks for the index page a calendar and different things you want. So for example, if you have a tracker page, you're going to have a tracker page, weekly page, month, daily page, and so on. Now, the thing to that I want to talk to you about is that if you want to create a big planner, meaning that it's 200 pages and more, then it's not going to be enough to just use Canva. You will need to use either uh, key, no, keynotes, no, PowerPoint, Affinity, InDesign, or for the free option, LibreOffice. And if you want to create that, I will also have a description in, I will have a link in the description for that particular video. So you can find out how you can do this for free. Now, if your planner is less than 200 pages, then this is what we do. But also, even if it's not, you can still create the designs here and then link everything in a different program. So. If it's less than 200 pages, the way you link things is just you click on the element and then you click this and you just choose the, the link you need. So I usually like to title my pages. That way I know which page is which and it's a lot easier for me to track. So for example, if it's number three, you know, it's I know it's number three or if it's January, let's look at the January here. So it's titled January. So I know when I try to link something, for example, this, I know that I linked it to the right page. Now, I also have a video on how to bulk create this. So to create this page alone, the way it works is you can add this text automatically and create multiple pages. So it's very, very nice. I definitely recommend watching that also in the description below. But I want to keep this video shorter and sweeter because there's things that I didn't explain previously that I want to show you today. So for example, how to create a weekly page. By the way, if you want this particular template, you can actually purchase it on my website and you can use it and sell it on Etsy just as it is or make changes. So let's say we have this particular page. How do you actually create it? So the first thing is I'm going to just create a new page. Then these links, I'm just going to copy them and paste them over here. Sorry, I didn't copy them correctly, so I'll have to do it again. But after you link everything, I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it here. So now all the links are kept to the page that needs to be. Now for this, we need to add some text. So you can add text by typing, clicking T and add text that way. You can go to text over here and add it like this. Really up to you. I'm just going to copy and paste the same thing. Now for a line, the way you add a line is very easy. You just click L and then you can add a line. Then this line, we're going to make it thinner. So as thin as possible. And then I'm going to move it over here just as a decoration element. Now for this in the middle, I will 
adds another line so i can just copy the line i had and then i'm gonna turn it around like this and then i'm gonna make it bigger so for example like that and then i can move it to the middle of the page like this now for these parts if i know specifically the spacing i need so for example i'm gonna create a rectangle over here make it a little bigger so i know exactly where i want it to be then make it sure it's in the middle of my page so this is middle and then this is middle as well and then what i'm going to do once i have that is i'm going to add guides to help myself if you don't see these rulers over here what you can do is you can go to file uh, view settings and show rulers and guides and that way you can see them and then once i add them to this page i can actually see them on on the new page so let's say I create a new page and as you can see the guides are already here for me so it's very nice because then I can make all the pages the same now for these bullet points there's multiple ways you could create them so you could technically create it with a little circle so let's type in circle so for circle I just click C for the keyboard or you could go to elements type in circle and find it over here uh, but go to graphics and then over here you can find the circle it's um, let's change the color and here it is the little dot now if you can't make it smaller just zoom in into this and that's gonna allow you to make it even smaller so make it as small as possible like that and we have our dot so we have the dots and now we can make it into uh, bullets so we're just gonna add them randomly first and then we're going to align them so just add them and then i'm going to move all of them copy them paste them do that kind of stuff so let's move it here and now that i'm happy with the look i'm going to select all of them and i'm going to align them so here horizontally and then they're all aligned in the middle so that's nice so now i have my first uh first ones and then i can just copy them and I, as you can see, I can make them any size I want. I can also change their color. So, you know, that's very useful. So for example, we're gonna select all of them and we're gonna decrease the transparency so they're not as bright. So now they're gray. So as you can see, now I have a nice little um, bullet thing and then we're just gonna add them over here as well. So here it is, we have a nice page. Then you can add your titles of the days and that's basically all you need to know to create this. And once I'm done with this, I will just move them to where they need to be. And once I'm happy, I'm just gonna copy and paste them to the other side and type in Monday, Tuesday, and so on. So let's say I say Monday or Sunday if I start with that tuesday and i just continue so all the other elements are very simple and that's all you need to know about this particular page now if you want there's more inspiration for these kinds of pages if you go to design and you type in daily template for example you can add daily planners like that if you want mm -hmm or a more minimalist style for example this one just make sure to make changes to them so delete some elements also change the fonts and change the colors and that way your planner is going to be unique now you may ask if most people would want to have their daily pages linked or to have 300 of them created probably but for me when i'm creating just a template on canva all i need is one daily page and then all the rest i'm gonna add in the program that i'm link hyperlinking each one of them if that kind of product would be useful for you if an indesign template that already has 400 pages that you could just change a little bit and sell on etsy would be useful for you leave a comment below and thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any questions about planner creation and see you next time